Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again. Long time no see, everybody. It's been about two weeks since my last video, and I've missed you dearly. Part of my hiatus has been due to the fact I was away in Seattle for a week. I've also been a little bit under the weather, if you can't tell by my voice, so I wanted to make sure I came back and updated you guys on some big changes that are going on with both me and potentially the channel as well. But before I get to that, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is iHerb, which you guys have probably heard of before because they've sponsored a few of my videos, so thanks for that. But also because they're the global leader when it comes to a lot of things like products, quality, and value, especially around sports nutrition products, like some of the ones I'll show you. And that's really based around their three triple guarantee, which is number one, value. So the value of the products that they sell, which at this point is over 30,000 name brand products, which is pretty impressive. The quality, so not only are you getting a good price, but you're getting actual name brand products that are very popular and can ensure that you're gonna get what you order. And finally with their shipping, meaning that they ship to over 150 countries and in most cases, it's either free shipping or a very minimal add-on cost. So you really can't come wrong when it comes to that triple guarantee. Now with me personally, today what they've sent me is a couple of things and it's based around some of these changes, which has to do with my actual training. So I'm shifting from more of a powerlifting style training to a little bit more of a power building style training. And as part of that, I really want to make sure that I get some things right. So what I had them send me was this Cellucor Performance Way, which is the peanut butter marshmallow flavor, which when this first came out a couple of years ago was always something I wanted to try. But the reason I'm jumping back on the Way bandwagon is because I found personally these last couple of years, especially with marrying someone who is mostly a vegetarian and my preferred source of protein is meat, it's hard for me to reach my daily numbers, which for me on average is around 200 to 220 grams of protein per day. Now I can do that through food, but it's just more difficult and more expensive. So I wanna start reintroducing whey into my normal supplementation. Now, when I'm gonna take this is really going to vary, but in most cases, it's either gonna be first thing in the morning, maybe right after training, if I'm not training immediately before a big meal like lunch, or at night before I go to bed in order to make sure that I hit my number. So it's gonna vary between one of those three or maybe even a combination of both. But either way, this is a cheap, efficient way in order for me to get enough protein throughout the course of the day. And plus it's peanut butter marshmallow, how can you go wrong with that? Another thing that I had them send me was actually kicking it back even old schooler is Cyvation Extend, which is probably really the company that really started the BCAA trend. The reason I'm going with this is because with this power building style, there's a lot more volume. My training sessions in some cases are pretty long. In fact, my most recent leg day, which I'll just flash up on the screen, there was a lot of work to be done and I found myself dragging a little bit to extend that workout, if you will. And I figured this would be something good to try. It has the typical two to one to one ratio. Plus it's kind of a thing for me where I don't end up drinking a lot of water. I just don't really get that thirsty or think that I need it and it's hard for me to force it down. So adding a flavor like blue raspberry will definitely help as well. So I'll probably take that during my training. Lastly, what they sent me was something that everybody needs, which is a shaker bottle. I've never heard someone who trains say, I don't have enough of these. It's always, I can't find one or I can't find a clean one. So having an extra one like this, which is branded with the iHerb logo, as well as being a blender bottle is really nice for me. So I can use this to take either of these other two things. So big thanks for the sponsorship. I'm going to link these in the product section below. If you guys want to find out more, go ahead and click those links. It'll bring you right to them. And as well, you can find, like I mentioned, over 30,000 other name brand products from them. So thanks for sponsoring the video. Now, the big changes with me, I mentioned a little bit switching to a power building style training. I'll update you guys that as the kind of weeks go on, as there's some other info around that I want to get out. And I'm just kind of, kind of feeling it out for right now this week and getting my feet under me, which is really kicking my butt considering that, again, I'm not feeling the best necessarily, but there's some other really important life changes that I want to mention just because it might impact the channel. So a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that my wife and I were expecting our second child. He or she is due in August, so a couple of months away. Having my first child was definitely an adjustment when it comes to training. If you guys have been following Alan Thrall, which you showed, he's one of the best channels on YouTube. He's been documenting his first child as well and training around that. And I gotta say, I can understand that because it is very difficult. So I can only imagine what having two will be like. There's some people out there that I follow that have more than two kids and manage to do it. So I'm hopeful that that's the case. But another thing I have to consider is that we're actually in the process of selling this house that I'm in right now. So this basement gym will be going away at least for a little bit. So we accepted an offer on our house earlier this week for 460,000, which is sweet because we basically gained a hundred thousand dollars in equity of what we paid for it uh, just four and a half years ago. So that's very nice considering we're in Rhode Island, which isn't necessarily a desirable market. So I'm excited about that, but we have to be out of the house in around 40 days and the place that we're going to rent in the interim, because we're actually going to be building a new house with a nicer basement, which will be eventually the home of basement Brandon in the new upgraded gym 
will probably be about a year. So we're gonna be renting for about a year and I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna have space within that rental to bring some of my gym stuff like my rack or my deadlift platform. So I more than likely will either have to consolidate what I have in order to train there or I might just have to end up getting rid of everything and training and joining a commercial gym for about a year. So I'm prepared to do either. I really hope I can have the home gym space somehow only because like I mentioned, my time is very limited as is and cutting down that commute back and forth would help tremendously, but I have to do what I have to do. Regardless, I still wanna make YouTube videos. I'm just not sure how easy that's going to be. I'm sure we'll find a way, but I wanted to keep you guys in the loop of some of those bigger changes just so you know what's going on with me. And that's about it. I do owe you guys a couple other videos. There's some videos I wanna do. I got a squat bar in recently, which is awesome. There's a couple of other review videos I wanna do. I wanna talk about doing mobility work for six months and then stopping for six months and telling you what I found. But I think the next video I'm gonna make is talking about what happened to my stay big sign off. But there's actually a pretty funny story around that. And it was actually part of a plan that I didn't end up doing. And I wanna to talk to you about it because I think you guys will get a good chuckle, but that'll probably be my next video because I get a lot of people asking. So in the meantime, until then, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next video.